I inherited my mother-in-law's garden, basically. And I came down and just started off just reading up and maintaining what was here. But within a matter of weeks, I thought, oh, I really like this. And now look, 30 years later, it's gone completely berserk. I'm completely addicted. And that's really how it's come about. My name is Sarah Mead and I am, for my sins, head gardener and collaborator designer here at the Evaniel Bennett Garden in Blackton. The garden is a series of rooms and a series of experiences that you walk through. It's quite a mixed garden. There's some pretty formal design. There's lots of very fluffy design. I'm always experimenting. It will never stand still, ever. We are organic and we really are, no bluffing. We're inspected every year, and the sort of settings are on it, and I wouldn't want it any different. Obviously, there are no chemical pesticides, fertilizers at all. We aim to be completely closed loop on mulch, leaf mold, composts, potting mixes, everything. The whole essence of not breaking the food chain, of allowing your natural predators to do your work for you when it comes to pests and diseases. It does take a bit of self-control. You do have to walk away and just breathe and just think it'll be all right. Have faith. Um, but it does work, it really does. I would not change it for anything. It sings with life out here. A big thing would be that we're not separate from all that. We are part of it. I take myself out into that garden and just for an hour it makes such a difference. You become a small cog in this huge universal wheel and that's really good for us to do, all of us. And it's basic stuff, get your hands dirty, watch some life going on, realise that actually the ladybird is eating an aphid right in front of you. I don't think it's a case of us charging in, trying to fix things or trying to destroy them actually. I think it's more realising that actually we're part of the whole thing and not standing above it.